And I think as we go into this, yes, we've got things which could get the lesson up and running and started. It may be that we've taught some aspect of levers and we're trying to reiterate those aspects at the start of the lesson, perhaps using the whiteboard function like here. Something as simple as getting the students involved and interacting straight away with something like how many levers are there and where are they on the body? You know, I have a, an A-level PE lesson first thing on a Monday morning. And they really do need a bit of a jump start at times first thing on a Monday morning. And to get them involved in interacting and engaging first thing in the lesson on a Monday is often a good thing to get them on task and focused on what we need to be doing. So as we take that forward, yes, it is visually impacting levers. The obvious thing is that they're going to have to be able to draw levers not just draw them in the sense that we've got on there, but also to label those levers. One of the interesting tasks that can back this up and they can then get involved using their camera is to actually send them a sheet to cut out with a square, a triangle, an arrow and a lever line. Alternatively, if they don't have a printer, it's very simple for them to make that kind of thing at home in preparation for the lesson and have it in front of them for when cameras need to be turned on. Because you could well be saying to actually make a lever as part of the lesson. And that could be that certain students make lever one, certain ones make lever two, certain one makes lever three, or they could all be making the same lever at the same time. But we'd have some interactivity involved just by using the cameras and just by having these symbols available to them cut out in some shape or form, either on a preset cut out for them to cut out equally or for them to make themselves. And yes, we do need to remember that these labelled levers do involve the words fulcrum, effort and load. So the effort point should have been put across to where the arrow is. The load point should have been put across to where the box is and so on. And it could be, guys, what's wrong with the labelling on this lever here? And then using the chat function. They potentially could make use of the whiteboard. And you could get them saying, for example, right, whole class, I want you to draw lever number three, including the labels, fulcrum, load and effort, on our interactive whiteboard. Let's see if everybody can do it. 